Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Supes channel. My name is Dr. Allison. On this channel, I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So over here on my left, I have Sebastian Cuervo. He's going to be the moderator for today's video. And over there on my right, I have the person I'm going to be debating, Anthony. And me and Anthony are going to be debating Captain America versus Iron Man. Who is the better overall MCU hero? So right before we get into the debate, the debate guys, make sure to stay to the end of the video for giveaway details as I'm giving away two of these Captain America Hot Twist collectibles. Now, without further ado, let's begin to argue why Captain America or Iron Man is the best MCU hero. Okay, starting off with you, Matt, give me three reasons why Captain America is a better MCU hero than Iron Man. So guys, I'm just gonna read my three top, my three reasons here, and then I'm gonna get down into breaking each and every one of them. So the first reason is he just wants to do what's right. Second reason, he is what we aspire to be. And the third reason, he's a normal man with a voice and a spirit that can command gods. So getting right into my first reason. So he just wants to do what's right. So when we break down the character of Captain America, this is just a skinny kid from Queens that never made it, never got, got the chance to prove himself in the army. So then he got that one opportunity from, you know, the German scientist who signed them up for their super soldier program. This is just a kid that wanted to serve. He wanted to put his life on the line. He said it himself in Captain America, the first Avenger. It's not right that soldiers fight and die while, and he's just at home chilling. So Captain America is, he's an inspirational figure. He was created back in World War I, World War II in order to aspire people to enlist in the army. And that's what he is. He's an inspirational figure and he just wants to do what's right from the beginning of the MCU. Whereas Tony Stark at the beginning of the MCU, he was a character driven by greed. He was very selfish, very self-centered, very narcissistic. Whereas Captain America from the beginning, he's always been that selfless, same character that we know and love today. Now getting into my second reason, guys. So my second reason is that he's what we aspire to be. So amongst all of us, the reason Captain America is the fan favorite across all of the MCU characters is because he is the best parts of ourself. We all wish we could be that selfless hero that's gonna save the day, you know, when the world is at risk. We all wish we could be that. We all wish we could be that skinny boy from Queens. We all wish, we, we all wish that we could be that skinny boy from Queens who ends up lifting Thor's hammer, a hammer created for gods. Now, that transitions over into my third reason. He's a normal man with a voice and spirit to command gods. So when we look at the character of Captain America and break him down, guys, again, he's just a skinny, random kid from Queens. There's nothing special about him. There's no Iron Man suit that revolves around him. There's no God-given powers that given to Captain America. His power is his heart and his, his fighting spirit. And that's what makes up the, char the character of Captain America at the end of the day. And that heart and spirit gives him the, the ability to command someone like Thor, who was created, who was born out of the lineage of mythical gods. He was, it's Odin's son. I mean, when we look at the character of Thor, he, he can literally wipe out anyone and everything. And yet he is under Captain America's control, a normal man. Captain America tells Thor to do something and Thor is gonna do it because Captain America is his leader. And then again, following along with that point, Captain America, as we saw in Avengers Endgame, wielded Mjolnir, a weapon created for gods. And he's just a normal man, but yet he has the, the worthiness to hold and wield a weapon that was created for gods. And the fact that he used that and proved himself and proved that he was worthy in Avengers Endgame, that says a lot to the character of Captain America. And again, it shows us all that this is what we aspire to be. Captain America is the best parts of herself. And at the end of the day, we all wish we could be that normal person who ends up picking up Mjolnir and saving the day in Avengers Endgame. All right, Matt, those were good three points. Now, Anthony, give me three reasons why you think Iron Man is the better MCU hero than Captain America. All right, well, number one, Tony Stark has the better overarching arc. And he starts off as a playboy, the self-centered prick, sorry, but, um, but then he finds his true calling to become a superhero. And he finds this through mistakes. The first, in the first Avenger, you know, he sold nukes to terrorists by mistake, not, no, not knowingly, but there he built his first Iron Man suit and he finds what, what his true calling is. And his true calling is to become the, be the best Avenger. Now, number two. 
he always has the right intentions. Now, he does make mistakes, like I said. You know, Age of Ultron happened because of him. But the intention was to build an armor around the world, a safety blanket. And obviously, the movie happened because of him, but it's the right intention. And in Infinity War, he does take the fight at Thanos, which almost kills everybody that he was with, Doctor Strange and Peter Parker, but it's the right intention. He wanted to take the fight to him so Earth wouldn't have to suffer any more damages. And my last point is, he makes the ultimate sacrifice. In Avengers Endgame, I mean, the ending where everybody was crying, he snaps his fingers, he, he sacrificed his daughter, his loving wife, his, the life he's always wanted, a simple life. And he sacrificed, all, sacrificed it all for Earth. And for the, all the Avengers, I was standing right next to him, even Cap. So, yeah. All right. Now it's over for Crossfire, so you guys can go back and forth debating your points. Oh, wait. Let me say something first. I meant the first Iron Man, not the first Avenger. Sorry. All right. Okay, so Anthony, you said in your statement that Iron Man always has the right intention. And yeah, he might always have the right intention, but when there are lives on the line, and when things happen costing the Avengers and costing in innocent lives to die, intention might not really matter. Let's look back to the entire MCU. Every single one of these things happened because of Iron Man. Iron Monger, the villain of Iron Man 1, was created. Justin Hammer and Whiplash were both created in Iron Man 2 because of Iron Man. The Mandarin, Iron Man 3. Ultron, Baron Zemo, the Vulture, Mysterio. And oh, well, the Vulture is... Eventually, Infinity War happened because of him. Because he didn't go back to Earth and assemble with the rest of the Avengers, he never made that call to Steve. Let's, let's make it clear that if he made that call to Steve, the Avengers would have assembled and they would have got been together. Out. They would have gotten wiped out. No, no, they wouldn't have. Okay. If they were all together, you're gonna tell me that the Avengers wouldn't have been in Thanos. Well, first of all, no one in that galaxy, except for Gamora and Nebula, knew what Thanos was or how strong he was. <clears throat> so we leave it at that. Okay, but if they were all together, <clears throat> dude, they would have beat him. If they were all he had together. To talk to Cap. How long did he talk to Cap for? Okay, but dude, when the world is at stake, half of all life across the universe is at stake, and you're gonna hesitate. I mean. Hulk was literally telling him that none of that matters now. Thanos is here. Half the universe is at stake. And that's that. They didn't even so know. Do do? They didn't even know it was half the, the universe. The righteous thing took the fight to him. They he didn't wait for no, no backup. Didn't wait for no backup. Bro, he was waiting. He didn't even know he was going to meet up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. So you're going to tell me that Tony Stark was willing to take a fight to Thanos with Spider-Man. Who, who he said multiple times in the past that if Spider-Man dies, he feels like that's on him. So he's gonna put Spider-Man in that situation, and then on top of that, he's gonna—he's only gonna have Doctor Strange by his side, which he met like two seconds. Okay, ago. well, this is where his human flaws come out. Cause like, sorry, my character is not a god like how you compared him to. Yes, flaws, his ignorance, yes, but it, my bad for my character wanting to take the fight to him and end the end the danger as soon as he can. But okay, whatever. You I mean, that's also kind of narcissistic, considering the fact that. He thinks he could take on Thanos by himself. I mean, is that not narcissistic, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because if that was Captain America, Captain America would want everyone together. The whole point of Captain America, Captain America is such a unifying character. He was created to unify America during World War One, World War II, in order to, to bring people to enlist in the army. He is a character that unifies people. In Avengers Endgame, the best moment in the damn MCU happens because Captain America assembles all the Avengers. Captain America is only alive because Tony Stark snapped his fingers. That's why he's always alive. All of them are alive. And to the reason Tony Stark snapped his fingers is because Captain America picked up Mjolnir and went ham on that. because no, he stole the stones. Snatched that shit from his gauntlet. And nothing, none of that would have ever happened if Captain America wasn't leading all of those Avengers. Yeah, Tony Stark could have made that sacrifice. <laughs> By the way, that whole, first of all, the whole movie would have happened if Tony Stark didn't go with them. To by the way, the time. let's point out that Tony Tony didn't need to snap his fingers. Tony, that that was the only they, that's just bad writing. Okay, that that was the only scenario that they win because <laughs> you, you're gonna tell me that they couldn't have Doctor Strange couldn't have opened the portal for that gauntlet and put it somewhere else, put it in the Sanctum Sanctorum. You're gonna tell me Doctor Strange couldn't do that? Yeah, but Doctor Strange didn't do it. Okay. But that's, no you, you can't blame it on, oh, they would have all died if Tony Stark didn't, yeah. didn't sacrifice what, his life. What did Doctor Strange do? 
What do you mean? One shot. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. He's like, oh, Thanos can't fly. No. We don't know what that means. <laughs> One we don't chance. know what that means. And Tony knew that. That was okay. Tony knew. He had to sacrifice everything, and he did it. No, no second guessing. Okay, but this is something that Marvel had planned since day one. Like they, it all built up to Tony Stark dying, and there was no outcome where he wasn't gonna die. Like th oh. that, that was the only outcome. But that doesn't mean that was the only outcome that they could have won. All right. Well, let me tell you. Doctor Strange could have opened up a portal. Tony Stark could have okay, taken the no, gauntlet. There's no shoulders up. or ifs. That's how the movie is, and that's what we're debating it on. Fair, fair enough. All right. So, uh, let but me... even then, to the C Tony Stark has created multiple villains in the past that have affected everyone across the entire MCU. He created all his four Iron Man villains across his trilogy. He created Ultron, which in turn created Zemo after the events of the Soko after the events of Sokovia, because you know Zemo's family died in Sokovia, and now Zemo's still around, and he's gonna be play a prominent role as the main villain in. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So he's still around. He's still going to be a prominent villain because of Tony Stark. Looking at the Spider-Man franchise, Vulture was created because Tony Stark had his damage control company come and, you know, pick up New York. In turn, putting Vulture out of business and into Wait, the wanna... into the business of dealing eight, well, black market alien technology. You want to see that? Okay, well, Civil War wouldn't have happened if Cap wasn't such a stuck-up and. Don't even start! <laughs> he was backing up Winter Soldier for no reason when he knew he backing? was the agent, the hitman that he actually was. Assassinating people. He was brainwashed. He was brainwashed. It doesn't matter. He was the man behind it. It does matter. He was pulling the trigger. He was ma murdering everyone. So that's... Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bucky is a massive assassin who has killed many people. That's why I would have had... Your favorite, your that's why I would have had an issue if... Captain America would have given up his mantle to Bucky because Bucky, oh God, you wanted him in the theater Bucky, to, to give it up. Bucky, Bucky is he he doesn't deserve the mantle of Captain America because he he's still wanted by the American government. I mean he's not he doesn't have his name clear. I mean after the events of Captain America Civil War, he hasn't been in America. He he's been in Wakanda and then in Endgame. I guess you could say he was at Avengers HQ. He's back in America, but we they never developed that. We never see where that goes, but. In Civil War, the whole premise of that movie is Captain America doesn't want to divide the Avengers. He wants the power to remain in the in the Avengers' hands because he knows that if he, if he has to listen to someone giving him orders, that person giving him orders isn't reliable, as we saw in Captain America, the Winter Soldier. But yet, Tony Stark wants to shift the blame. He wants to give the blame to someone else. He doesn't want to own up to his actions. But... Bro, you didn't want to go to Civil War. And that eventually divided the Avengers and Infinity War happened because... Yeah, you know who divided the Avengers? Because of Tony Stark. Stark. He's... After Tony saw both his parents getting murdered by this freak of nature right next to him, and then his best okay, friend... Okay, but you gotta realize that he, he was really the brain... Of the, of the murder. He was he, brainwashed. Cap was just trying to stop the fight. Oh, stop the fight by pounding into <laughs> Tony's face while he's getting double teamed? Dude, Tony was gonna stop until Bucky was dead. What do you expect Cap to do? Damn. Revenge. Let him kill Bucky? Yes, Bucky's a horrible person. Oh my he, god. Why would Cap- He's not the same guy that fell down that train in the first Avenger. He's completely- Obviously, person. he's the same guy. I mean, look look at how he is in Endgame. He just had to get past the Sokovia. I yeah, mean, not after, the Sokovia. Yeah, he just had to get past murdering- He just had to get past the, the brainwashing that Hydra did to him. He was a brainwashed robot. And he wasn't the only one. There was other super soldiers, as we saw in Captain America Civil War. There was other super soldiers just like him. Yeah, you know who else is a super soldier? Who? Cap. Exactly. Like, 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 and Cap like, has the most pure intentions no, no, in yeah, the entire like MCU. Like you said, all, all Captain America is is a, is a good heart. And he has a fighter's chance, whatever the hell he said. In Fighting America. spirit. Fighting spirit. Dude, he wouldn't be Captain America without that super juice that's inside him, making him humongous and super strong and super agile and everything. That's the whole gist of the character. Okay, then. But you can't say that he's just a... He's like a normal kid from Brooklyn or whatever. That's not who he is. He's a super juiced soldier. He's a okay, but deep down inside, he's just a normal kid in Brooklyn that got a good opportunity. He's a U.S. government weapon. He's the same thing as, as Winter Soldier. What do you mean he's the same thing as Winter Soldier? Oh, obviously with different intentions, but he's like Ca can't Captain America. Can Winter Soldier, Soldier? Can he he wield Mjolnir? Bro, you what, think Thor would listen to Winter that's Soldier? Just a fan, like, it's just that for oh fun. no, but that's how the movies are. That's how the movies are. Bro, that's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how the movies are. You can't complain about the writing now. 
That's how the movies are. This is the last movie he's in. They have to do something for that. Winter Soldier? No, I'm talking about it. Yeah, that's the last one for Cap and for Tony. So yeah, that's why we're having this debate. Look how Tony ends like a real soldier. Sacrifices his life. Cap ends with his stupid ass girl. It was a heroic move. <laughs> yeah, 90 years old. Like, boring. So boring. I mean, it's not a move that I think that Captain America would have done. Would have done. Yeah. Like, I feel like, but at the end of the day, when you introduce something like time travel and Captain America's, his whole inner conflict across the whole MCU is that, damn he lost the life that he wanted to live. That's his whole inner conflict. We see it in Captain America, the first adventure, and once he gets back in the post credit scene, and Cap- we see it in Captain America, Winter Soldier, we see it in Civil War. I mean, again and again, he's reminded by Peggy Carter, in who we saw make a return in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, yeah, what a drag, Jesus. in the hospital scene, and in Captain America, Civil War, with her death, her character is still very prominent in the life of Captain America. So he's constantly reminded by the life that he well, could have lived. And then he hooks up with her with her niece. What was that? <laughs> Bro. Sharon Carter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what a, what a... That was a pity kiss, okay? <laughs> yeah. That was a really pity kiss because she did a lot for Cap and she, he knew that he liked her. So again, good intention. Good morals. So then at the end of the day, Cap saw an opportunity such as time travel come across him in Endgame. Why not? And that would have happened without, Why not? without Tony Stark's technology and his brain. He's the reason why they time travel and Hulk, but yeah. mostly Tony Stark. So there you go. And game wouldn't have happened without Tony. They wouldn't have gone back. They wouldn't have reversed the snap without Tony. Yeah, that doesn't prove it. That doesn't make Tony a better hero <laughs> than God is in America. The only reason why they're all alive is because of him. No, it's not. Well, they're all alive before, but the only reason why the world got reversed or the Earth got reversed. They're alive because of each other. <laughs> At the end of the day, they all needed each other. If Hulk didn't do the snap, the rest of the remaining heroes would have never come back. If that rat would have had pl- pressed that lever, sending Ant Man back out of the quantum room, okay, they would have never if done maybe that. They never, if maybe they never betrayed or whatever got hacked, then Hulk would have snapped his fingers and that's it. We never would have seen Cap Will Mjolnir. Yeah, because they would have been saved. Yeah, that's exactly. the objective. I think exactly. that was the objective to get everyone back. So and, and who did it? Tony. Yeah. And he lost his life for it. The ultimate sacrifice. No, no, no. He didn't bring everyone back. He just. He what? He gave him a light. He gave him a, a Earth to live on for the future. That's what he did. No, he just killed Thanos and like his army. Yeah, and like that's nothing, right? No, it is something. That's not the main. He saved the day. He saved the day. Movies. Very heroic move, and it was a brief, beautiful ending to the start of the character, to the arc for the character of Tony Stark. But at the end of the day, Captain America has been consistent with his moral morals from the beginning. Consistent with his actions, always taking the most heroic move at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we all know that if that godlet was standing right in front of Captain America, he wouldn't hesitate to put it on and snap his fingers. But he didn't. He didn't, he didn't get that opportunity the same way he got that magical opportunity yeah, to was, get in the super soldiers. He was on the ground when Iron Man was already there. On the ground, beat up. That's how he is. He's always on the ground. He's always the last one up. When he was literally taking out Thanos with Thor, but okay. Yeah, and then what happened? And then he got he's knocked still, out. He still got messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he got messed even up. Even him with, with a god hammer, he can't even destroy Thanos. Facts. Neither can Tony Stark. That's why he snapped he his did. fingers. That destroyed him. Okay, but it wasn't like a one-on-one combat. All right. Hey, no one. All right. So, Cuervo, we've debated long enough. Who do you think won this debate? I don't know. That's, not, that's not fair. Don't say All right, we'll leave it to you guys in the comment section. Guy made some pretty good. Wait, wait. Made some pretty give, good give your point. thoughts. Give your yeah, thoughts. Give, yeah, give your thoughts. I what like, side are you leaning towards? Argue. What side are you leaning towards? The way you guys argue, I could probably lean either side, because they each both have their own things. Like Iron Man's cost a lot of lives, but Cap defends Bucky, who costs a lot of lives also. So depends. But I don't know. I'm a Cap fan. I always pick Cap over Iron Man, but he does make a great point. So, so again. Corvo picks my side, but you guys can support Anthony in the comment section down below if you think that Anthony won this debate. So uh, guys, let us know in the comment section down below who won this debate. Who is the better MCU hero, Captain America or Iron Man? Let us know in the comment section down below. Now getting into giveaway details, guys, I'm giving away two of these Captain America Hot Toys collectibles. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for an entry towards winning one of these two Captain America Hot Toys collectibles. So, 
there you guys have it. We just debated who is the best MCU hero, Captain America or Iron Man. Corvo leaned towards Iron Man, so let's just say, I mean, Corvo leaned towards Captain America, so let's just say Captain America won. But again, you guys can have No, 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 fuck that. Fuck <laughs> that, fuck that. That's not how it works. Okay, we're gonna leave the winner of this debate down in the comment section down below. Let us know in the comment section down below, guys, who won this debate? Who is the best MCU hero, Captain America or Iron Man? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Dude, shut the fuck up. What? Dead ass, shut up. You're getting me fucking heated. Chill, chill, chill.